I don't think the relationship has been any different, uh, any better or any worse than the usual. No doubt the, the, the biggest um, performer this year would have been Elaine. Three gold medals, two Olympic records, second fastest now 10 5 4 um, in, in the 100 meters. Um, in terms of what she was able to achieve coming off that Achilles stroke calf issue that has affected her since 2017, um, how do you look back on, on her season? We were not able to get her start where we would have liked it to be on an extremely consistent basis. As a matter of fact, I think the only time she really started the way how I wanted her to start was in the Olympic final. I mean, there is no better time to, 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 to do that. And, um, and that, as a result, she had her fastest time for the year. Um, when you do what we, 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 the adjustments that we people normally make, the people in the sport normally make, mm -hmm. for 100 meter times. Right. Um, you know, but, so that has been the major disappointment that, um, that, 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 and the start has gotten progressively worse since the Olympics. But, you know, it, it is something which she has gotten once, so she, I expect she probably can get it again. And, uh, you know, but that is something to work on. But, I mean, even though she never got the kind of race what I want from her after the Olympics, um, you know, that's, 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 Technical nitpicking, mm -hmm. but from a from a from a layman point of view, I mean, I, I mean, she, she 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 did quite well, and and I think she has to be congratulated as she should be. But we get a know, coach, that there are some concerns that as to whether or not by who from who well, by who based on my information. Oh, you are, you have some concerns. Okay. Yeah, that that um Elaine might have indicated or have indicated an intention to move away from the MVP track club via communication to the club. Um, what, what can you tell, you tell us on that? Well, what I can tell you is that I am not in the habit of revealing communications which occur between me and my athletes. Um, so I can't comment on that, but I could suggest to you that if you want, if you have heard that and you believe it and you want to find out, then the best person to really tell you that is her. Because from my perspective, we have, we start by practicing sometime October 18th, 19th, just after Heroes Day, I think Heroes, Heroes Week. Um, and. Uh, My philosophy is usually to, to see who turns up, you know, so, I mean, I, I, so in summary, I can't tell you what Elian has says to me or I said to her. Um, and secondly, if you, if you, if she tells you that that is her plan, then I will wait and see what happens up until October, mid-October. Coach, can I ask you this? Are you confident that Elaine Thompson Hera will be among the numbers here at MVP um, by the end of October? No, I am never confident about that because uh, what I, my experience tells me that athletes in general, especially those who come from a low expectation level, in other words, not much was expected of them all the while they are usually unable to separate themselves from the people who hop onto their, their bandwagon, their various bandwagons. You know, people, they, 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 they tend to have short memories and they, they tend to, to listen to people who they just meet or they, they, who, who uh, gather around them um, since they have become famous or successful and they usually from my my experience 
have a very, very great influence. It usually takes a very, very just smart and strong athlete to sit back and say, you know, you guys weren't around, um, so leave me, let me make my decisions. I don't know that there are a lot of athletes who can do that. Um, so in short, I would not be surprised if she's not here. I don't know if she's going to be here, but neither do I for anybody else in her situation because, as I said, as they move along, many other things become important to them, apart from their training and maintaining their, their standards. How has the relationship been between yourself and uh, Elaine this season um, in terms of uh, how it has always been coming with the successes of the 2016 and after the injuries and, and this year in, in, in particular? I don't think the relationship has been any different, uh, any better or any worse than, than usual. Um, one of the problems which always happen in, 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 in MVP is that our approach to training, to coaching, to the, to the development of athletes is far different from what other people experience. Um, we have a large number, relatively, of top class athletes. And we have also a very large number of developing athletes. Um, sometimes an athlete finds it hard to reconcile that when they hear their, their, their fellow competitors talk about their coach is a coach that and their coach call them and the coach this and the coach is very walks everywhere with them and so on. Those kind of things being 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 successful, you, you tend I guess you tend to want to see those kind of things happen to you. And um, I think that, again, the athletes lose focus on what their accomplishments are and focus on other things which, which, which I would call it at best um, frill, you know, and, and um, so we do have problems with, 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 with those people are not, don't like to be around competitors, um, especially within their camps. Um, this year, we, I mean, we, 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 I have never been a coach who is going to cater to the idea that an, any of my athletes must not have competition in practice. You know, so therefore, yeah, it is what it is and sometimes you understand that some athletes want to feel as if they control their coach. You know, and and um, so I'm not saying that Elaine is one of those, but I'm just saying that it mo you must expect that when in a large training organization like what we have, you're going to have some level of disgruntlement among those athletes who believe that there is too much of a fight for the time of the coach or for the attention even though they are doing far better than everybody else who gets all that, the attention that they want. Hmm. Coach, uh, we gather there was an incident some time ago ahead of the last season involving uh, a club masseur and someone related to, to Thompson Hera. Is that something you can share and whether or not that might have led to any potential discontent? Again, I was not present at the, any such incident. Um, so I really can't comment on that. Um, I, I, just like you, I heard about it, about some sort of incident. I have no way of verifying if it took place. I wasn't there, so no, I can't say anything. 